Dr. Lee is amazing. I don't sleep much anymore, but I do sleep very well when I have my acupuncture. She quiets my mind, and it's just an amazing space. And she is now in Boca Raton, so if you were looking for acupuncture, and we're going to talk about three things today. Bronchitis, we're talking about arthritis, and weight loss in the new year. Weight loss, bronchitis, and weight loss. Arthritis. 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 Yes. Arthritis, bronchitis, and weight loss. And it's funny because Teddy said everyone at work is sick with bronchitis, and it's lingering and lingering. And I said, well, Dr. Lee's going to talk about everybody that Everybody has it. Linda, everybody has this bronchitis going around. And that cough lingers. Yes. And it's very... And, and you go through like two boxes of tissues because you got to blow it out. Yes, because uh, first you have like dehydration. The reason we got this in, around this season is because, you know, you have all the parties and the food differently from the routine diet. So it's all kind of high salt, high sugar, and that's all create phlegm. And phlegm is the mucus is supposed to protect us, you know, to clear up the bacteria. But then if you have too much and then accumulating there, and then you can cause the damage of the bronchial, the, the villi, the small, um, the small um, villi can move and clear up the bacteria or virus. So clear up the phlegm and clear up infection is the goal we want to achieve when you have a cold or you have a flu because when this uh, chronic bronchitis going on and on and what happens is it's damaged the cartilage in bronchi. And then it not only damaged the cartilage, but also it damaged the little uh, villi, which moves, uh, clear up the mucus. The alveoles, they move. The alveoles, the little sacs in your lungs. But let me ask you, how come, how come it's always here? The, the, the stuffiness is always in your nose, it's around your eyes. You ever see what happens to your eyes? The sinus. I wake yeah. up like that every morning, so yeah. Jen, she and I had this conversation. If we put our face in ice water, and then you said milk. Yes. But that's not bronchitis. That's just freaking 52. No, like but, it, but it, it contributes because phlegm is phlegm, and then the bronchitis gets a hold of this other stuff. But it sits it. in here, the bronchitis. You started with here. And it goes to and here. And then it goes down to It goes down your back of your throat. Yeah. And then it goes down to your lung. And yes. eventually it compromises the lung function and causing a condition called a bronchitis. Uh, bronchiectasis. So bronchiectasis will be the chronic inflammation which damage the bronchial and the lung function. And eventually when this persistent coughing, it can damage the blood vessel causing severe bleeding. So they will constantly cough the, the, the phlegm because of the chronic inflammation. Um, but once this chronic coughing damage the blood vessel, they started bleeding and then you cough blood, and that could be life-threatening. She kind of scares me a little bit. And the infection, because when you start bleeding, then the infection gets in your bloodstream. Yes. And then it, it can go to other parts of your body. Then you have, then you have some major problems. But yeah. it's, get, it's stopping the cough. And not only does Dr. Lee work with acupuncture, you work with herbs. And I was going to ask you about that, but I'll ask you off camera about that. So many, for me personally, but that's another option that you offer in your practice. Yeah, so... Let's do step by step. First, if you have a little bit of coughing or congestion, what you do is you stop eating all the processed food, the crackers or high salt, high sugar. And then also like popcorn or chips because it's so dry, it's dehydrating your throat. You can't have popcorn either? You know, you're not, when you're you not are a whole lot of fun. Congestion. Uh, so clear up within two, three days with pears, watermelon, orange, these three can all help you to rehydrate Especially orange help to clear up the phlegm and the pears. Why does oranges make me sweat like crazy, Doc? You are allergic to orange? I, th I think so. I, I start sweating. Really? Yeah, like if I'm menopausic. <laughs> That's going to hang in the <laughs> Do you have possible. the same idea? <laughs> I don't know, but I, 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 all my life, to? I oh. can never eat oranges. All my Just life. Just one small piece? Even will? one piece. Ah, I start sweating like crazy. Yeah, really? probably your stomach cannot process that. Oh, I but then that. you can have another uh, method, lemon. like the orange lemon. peel. Lemons, lemon. I have no problem. Lemon no. is okay, right? I cut up a whole lemon to put in my tea. Everybody looks at me like I'm crazy because yeah, I love lemon good. and tea. Yeah, lemon is good. But the other thing you can try is a piece of orange peel. You soak in the hot water. It helps clear the phlegm. 
and really? also help the acid reflux, which is also another thing most people have that because they drink while they eat and they expand their stomach, opens up the sphincter, so the, the food will is, come up. The sphincter is the muscle around. Yeah. <laughs> around <Okay>. the esophagus. <laughs> oh, I thought it was something else. And this and that. Yeah, you have that as well. It's a different sphincter. It <laughs> works the same way. It's like right. this. Multiple he ignores me. Multiple. <laughs> Do you see what it does? It's like this. It's a muscle okay, that contracts. Okay, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop. Relax. Okay, I got another question. Turning the body alkaline, alkalicalish. What yeah. is it? Al Al alkalinity. Alkalinity. Uh -huh. not, not making it acidity, alkalinity. D -D. Yeah. It is a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous thing. Yes. And we, we, we started doing, I started doing this program. I told Dawn about it. I told all my friends about it. And I started, to, it, today's one week anniversary of doing this particular deal that I want to talk to you about. My sugar has come down, Doc. Yes. To 119. Yeah, what happens is because you turn your, your uh, body into alkaline condition. Yes. And your, your intestinal gut and lining, gut lining become healthier. So you can digest food much better. So you will burn the calories instead of transfer the glucose into the fat cells and accumulating as a fat. So that's why you, sh you burn sugar, you have more energy. Do you know this woman is a genius? The lady that introduced me to this, I'm hoping she comes Friday because she, for some reason she, does, she doesn't want to blow up the scene. But all of a sudden, I find that being alkali mm -hmm. allows you to eat against more portions. I'm not telling you to go out there and eat a sandwich the size of this table. In small portions, it allows you to eat different things and you're digesting it. Yeah. For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm digesting. Yeah, remember the first time I look at your tongue? Yes, I remember. I remember. I look like a purple <laughs> I one. Thank and you. look at your t lip. It's much, much redder than yes. any is normal. I feel like yeah. a giant tomato. <laughs> that is true. You've got more color in your lip. I yeah, have more bounce in my... And I'm if you want telling to, you, Doc, yeah, I got you introduced... Yeah, you have more energy. I, show, I got introduced to this lady. What she does, what uh -huh. she did for me... I've never seen it in my entire life, and I've been doing this show a long time. It is an amazing fact. I thought she was a little cuckoo's nurse. She happens to be right. She even gave me litmus paper to test my urine in the morning. Yeah, to see And it's getting it's greener. Yeah. Is it more green is acidity. Oh, alkalinity? Alkalinity. That's what I want. Not, not acidity, alkalinity. Alkalinity. And I'm beginning to drink teas now. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's <laughs> so excited. Hey, Doc. Dr. Lee loves tea. And yes. she tells me, she said to me, this is what I want you to meet. She says, acupuncture will help uh, increase your circulation to get all this good stuff going. Yeah, especially the digestion. Yes, and, yeah. they, and they looked at my blood and they said that my digestive system is my problem. It's not my liver. Yeah. It's not my liver, Doc. Yeah, the digestion, the gut lining is the most important thing. But what's your A1C now? I don't know. It was 5.7. Oh, good. You know, I came from 11.2, right? Yeah, oh. 5. Well, I was so interested because we talked about that the other day when yeah. I was at your office. That David Pormarley, you said. Yeah, Pormarley. Yeah. Had this study that says 5.7 is now considered. No, no. It's not considered the optimal level. It's within normal range. But I'm, I have 5.7, which really shocked me because I try to eat all the healthy food, and but I think I eat too much carbs, even yes. sweet potatoes. You are 5.7? 5.7. Oh, then I'm, I'm in good company. Exactly. <laughs> I stopped using I insulin. It, that's good. That means your body started producing sufficient insulin. No, I just got madness and I ain't doing it no more. I either make it or break it and I listen to my diet, but this alkaline thing, Doc, is the most unique thing I've ever seen in my life. And the thing is that when you use the lemon water, it's not only hydrate yourself, but also it slow down the stomach spasm. So your stomach moves slowly and regularly, so you don't feel that hungry. You digest food more thoroughly. 